So how are crooked teeth straightened with aligners? Let's look inside the signs of straightening. So the main thing to understand first of all is that there's different types of crooked teeth. We have gappy teeth, this is where there is a larger jaw or smaller teeth, so the teeth have gaps and spaces in between them. Then we have overlapping situations, which is again where the arch is narrow and the teeth are overcrowded, and then we have overlapping. Or we have protruding teeth. This is where we have some teeth which have been pushed outwards completely and it's more visible from the side. The main question is, are they really crooked? See here, this person had a problem with crooked teeth, but the issue was that the teeth are actually aligned. They actually sit next to each other horizontally. And the main issue is actually the uneven teeth edges. This was caused by teeth grinding over a period of time. The solution here was actually cosmetic bonding. This is a procedure where you can additively and non-invasively restore and add the edges of the teeth. So if we're trying to understand how we can actually improve a smile, we first need to understand the teeth shape issue. You know, we have different teeth shapes of square, triangular, oval. And so we want to understand based off that, do we really have crooked teeth and what issues might we need to correct at the end once the teeth are straightened? Very important point. So why are my teeth crooked? The main issue is that we have forces in our mouth and those forces are coming from our tongue, our lip and our cheeks. If we think about it, it's a bit like Indiana Jones when he's trapped in that room and all the walls and the ceiling are compressing on him. Our tongue and our mouth and our lip muscles are doing the same to our teeth. So what can we do? We naturally have a certain amount of space in our jaw and we need to look at the ways to create space. And there's three ways you can create space before you can align your teeth. One is called IPR. This is called interproximal reduction. This is where you drill, a dentist would drill between the teeth to actually create space between the teeth. The issue with that is sometimes the teeth can end up a bit too skinny and not quite look right. It can also be hard to clean. Another way to create space is through expansion. This is where the teeth straightening process pushes the teeth outwards to make a wider smile and that actually creates some space. This is a nicer non-invasive way to improve the smile. This is how straight teeth direct aligners work. Another way is through extraction. This is where in a clinic a dentist would extract some teeth and that can help create space for the teeth to straighten. As I said there are many different ways and depending on your case different solutions might be required. So there are three phases of straightening. We have expansion, alignment and fine-tuning. In a simulation, you would actually see expansion occurring, or you'd also then see like alignment occurring, and also fine tuning at the end of it as well. So let's look at how this actually looks in reality. So in this situation, we can see the lower tooth was quite crowded, and we can actually see the upper teeth were quite crowded as well. It's straight teeth direct, your teeth are monitored every single month, so you can start to see how things progress. You do get a video, but this shows you an example of how the teeth progress over time. In this situation, the front teeth were overlapping. You can actually see a space generated and developed. This is during the expansion phase, so that space is possible for the teeth to straighten into. As you can see, it helps the teeth sit flush side by side. And sometimes the movements you see on a video is hard to kind of understand how it looks in reality, but this gives a good idea on that, that understanding. Or in this situation, again, the teeth are overlapping, and what we can see is the actual expansion and space creation to make space for the teeth to straighten. If you look carefully, you can actually see little gaps open up between the teeth and move into position. This is happening as the premolars and molars move outwards. So that gives you an idea of how expansion works. So what else can you do to speed up the process? Well, to optimize your alignment, what you need to do is three main things. One, follow the plan. In your straight teeth plan, it explains exactly what you need to do. And the whole point is you need to wear each customized liner for 22 hours a day for two weeks each before switching to the next liner. In some situations, if you've got slow biological response, your dentist might tell you to wear it for a bit longer. But essentially, that's enough time for the tooth to be stimulated to move and to hold it in position. The second thing you want to do are use chewies. You'll learn more about this once you start your plan. Basically, what you want to do is ensure the aligners seat fully and you want to stimulate movement and aligner seating. The third thing you want to do is brush and floss. No plaque means smooth movement and the teeth can align very, very nicely. So overall, this gives you a good synopsis of how the teeth can be straightened. If you want to learn more, visit Straight Teeth Direct. Thank you.